doing free code camp javascript algos and data structures and we're going to start the regular expressions course so there's 33 lessons of this course so there'll be a video for every lesson and this is going to be on using the test method so the first lesson and first we're going to learn about what regular expressions actually are and why they're important to know and when we'll actually use them uh, and these videos are meant to be kind of a guide, a walkthrough to help break down the concept and give you, I guess, context as to when they would be useful and relevant to your journey as a programmer. Um, so hopefully I can help elaborate and kind of break down what FreeCodeCamp is trying to convey, because I do think they do a great job conveying this information, uh, but sometimes reading it is not the best way for everyone to try and understand something as complex as learning computer language. So hopefully I can do a better job of maybe personally trying to explain it to you. Maybe not. Either way, at least I'll walk you through the lesson. All right, so regular expressions, often shortened to regex or reg, regexp, regexp, I guess, I've never heard that one, are patterns that help programmers match, search, and replace text. That's the theme with regular expressions, is that we can create an expression that searches for a pattern and can match that pattern and obviously with the for the purpose of replacing text in that pattern or even just identifying it. Um, regular expressions are powerful but it can be hard to read because they use special characters to make more complex and flexible matches. In this course we'll learn how to use special characters, capture groups, positive and negative negative lookaheads, and other techniques to match any text we could possibly want. All right, that sounds great. Let's get started. So today we're going to learn about the test method. So in regular, so in programming, as we know, regular expressions are used to match parts of the string. There are patterns like this. This is a regex pattern that are used to match specific characters or groups of characters. Essentially, just patterns. There's different. There's a system to this, and that's what we're going to be learning in this in this entire module. So if we want to find the word the in the string the dog chased the cat we could use the expression backslash the backslash backslash or i guess these are forward slashes forward slash the forward slash you notice the quote marks are not required within a regular expression javascript has multiple ways to use regexes uh, one way to test a regex is to use the dot test method the dot test method takes a regex, applies it to a string, which is placed in the parentheses, so you pass the string as the argument, uh, and returns true or false if the pattern finds a match or not. So you can see, in this example, we have our test string variable equal to free code camp, and then we have a regex expression that is uh, forward slash code forward slash. Then when they take the, the regex, so the test regex, so take the regex, test the string. So you can see that's the syntax. You have to take the variable that is the expression and test the string is the parameter, is the argument that's passed, right? So for me personally, I get this confused oftentimes and I'll take the string and test it with the regex as the argument, but it's vice versa. You take the regex uh, expression, you dot test and pass it the string you want to test. Okay, so all we're going to do here is apply the my regex or apply the regex my regex on the string my string using the test method. So you can see in this example, uh, looking back at this, the string is free code camp and then they're testing for the expression code with a capital C. So it would return true. This expression would return true because you can see within this string we do have the exact substring. So COD, capital C, COD, capital C. So it would return true because it did in fact find a match. It did in fact test that string. And yes, it did find that pattern of C, capital C, OD within it. So it's it's a true value. And that's how you use regex when, well, specifically the test method is it tests and returns to you true or false, right? Does it is it in there or is it not in there? True it is it does have this that does pass that expression in the sense it does contain that expression so here we do contain the substring code or false no it does not contain that substring and that's the whole idea with the test method okay so all we're going to do is take the is uh take this regex here 
and test this string to see if it contains whatever this regex test regex tests for, which in this case is very straightforward. It's looking for the hello substring. So all we have to do is change this line and assign the Boolean value, whatever the test method returns to this result. So this, I've said this in other videos, but if you haven't seen any other videos of mine until now, I'll say this in the future as well. A function call or a method call is equal to what it returns. So you can see here they say that the test method returns or true and a true and false value, right? It's either true, it does match, or false, it does not have that value. So this expression is a method call. It is a function call. So this expression returns a value, so we can assign that expression to a variable to store that value. So that's what we have to do here. So to actually see what this value is, we could console log this whole statement, or we could say let result equal this statement. Okay, so that's what we want to do here in our example because we want to store whatever this test method actually returns. We want to store it in a result. So that's what we can do by assigning result to be this this method, this function call. Okay, so whatever that function call returns will be stored in result because we're saying result is assigned to be the method. So enough talking and I'm going to actually start doing this. So let's start. So result equals to do a regex expression to use the test method. We know we take the actual regex expression and then pass the test method the string we want to test. So let's take the regex. So my regex my regex dot test. So we're going to use that regex to test this string, my string, so my string. And then what I was just getting at was this expression, this is a method call. And as we know, it returns true or false. So to store that true or false value in a variable, we can assign this method call to this result variable, right? The whole idea here is that once again, a function call, a method call, is equal to what it returns. So when I assign the result to be the function call, result is equal to true or false, whichever one it returns. And that's the whole idea of a lot of these methods is that we want the value that they return so we can assign a variable to be that method. And that variable is now equal to what it returns. So that's all we should have had to do for this one. They're gonna test it, yep, that does work. And now you can see, just to demonstrate for you, if we console, that log result, it's a Boolean true value because that's what test returns and this test method is assigned to result. So hope that made sense. That's really how we would use this in the future uh, is not only can you assign it to a variable, but you could just use the expression itself and place it in a conditional, uh, things like that. So hope that helped, hope that made sense, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.